So what do we do about this Beal son of a bitch? Suppose we'll have to kill him. I don't suppose you have any ideas on that Diana. Well, what would you fellas say to an assassination? I think I can get the Maltese tomb people to kill Beale for us. It's one of their shows. In fact, it'll make a hell of a kickoff show for the season. We're facing heavy opposition on the other networks for Wednesday nights, and the Maltese tomb hour could use a sensational opener. It could be done right on camera in the studio. We ought to get a fantastic looking audience with the assassination of Howard Beale as our opening show. Well, if Beale dies, what would our continuing obligation to the Beale Corporation be? I know our contract with Beale contains a buyout clause triggered by his death or incapacity. There must be a formula for the computation of the purchase price. Offhand, I think it was based on a multiple of 1975 earnings with the base period in 1975. I think it was 50% of salary plus 25% of the first year's profit multiplied by the unexpired portion of the contract. I don't think the show has any substantial syndication value, would you say, Diana? Syndication profits are minimal. We're talking about a capital crime here. The network can't be implicated. I hope you don't have any hidden tape machines in this office, Frank. Well, the issue is, shall we kill Howard Beale or not? I'd like to hear some more opinions on that. Look, I don't see we have any option, Frank. Let's kill the son of a bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. How do you feel? Ladies and gentlemen, the Network News Hour with Sybil the Soothsayer. Jim Webbing and his It's the Emma Struth Department.